So, unboxing time. There's the box. Hopefully you can see that. It's a really nice image on the front. So stake, controls, Warthog, Thrustmaster, uh, US Air Force recommended hologram here. PC windows. Ugh. Nice picture of the throttle and all numbered. Tells you what they are, what they're supposed to do in the real assume it's the real one. This is Hall Effect, if anyone doesn't know. Bit of uh, A10 at the top. And on this side we've got a nice graphic of the stick and all the specs at the bottom there uh, telling you what to do. Uh, nothing on that side. So let's get it open. <coughs> See what's in here when we this. Open this. Some instructions. Have a look at that. Uh, probably the best way to get this out. That. Two boxes. <coughs> okay. Nothing's here. Okay. Right. So we do one first. Uh, top. Flight manual, uh, software instructions, and information. So we'll have a look at that. What I'll do is I'll uh, do this quick unboxing, stick it on the computer, and see how it goes. Wow, it's like heavy. Wow. Fantastic. Let's see that, guys. Yeah. Uh, so we've got the base and the trigger. Let's have a look at the base first. Yeah, that's some weight. Okay, all metal construction. Nice rubber feet on the bottom. Four screws to mount it to this plate. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make uh, I'm going to make a bracket. To take this off there and just have this part uh, and fix it to the table. I'll, I'll show you that later. USB. Standard cable. Let's see how long this is. Okay. And it's one of those ones that don't seem to have twisted. Someone's twisted it the wrong way. There you go. I think. There you go. Uh, it's about five foot, maybe six foot. Uh, yeah, it might might be borderline five and a half foot. Okay, which is not that great because I'll need something quite long, especially from this side. Oh no, this side's alright. It's the throttle, which is on the other side from the PC. Uh, so first impressions looks really solidly built. Definitely weight. Probably weighs about five kilos. I don't know what that what it is, but it's heavy. Nice solid rubber feet. Uh, you can also mount it to something if you needed to. Uh, yeah, it looks nice. So that's that. Let's take a look at the grip. 
So I'll come to the preform like that. This is heavy, man. Wow. Wow. That fits my hand perfect. Wow, it's all metal. So we've got, actually this is a replica of the A10 Warthog uh, grip, throttle. All metal. The only thing that are plastic is the top hats. Sorry, the plastic hats, but they feel like thick plastic, solid plastic. Uh, nice big thread on there. Switches, so the trigger. You see that? I'll put it out again and do a little bit closer video. But there's a double switch, first switch, and then as it goes all the way in, there's another switch. So double S and the nice spring. Hat switch, four way, button, trigger, pinky, adjustable at the bottom. Uh, we've got a button here, and another hat multi wear hat and a button on the side and two more hats uh, I don't know that how that one's up and down and that one's four way arrow so you can align it when you're putting it together let's have a look there's the arrow Uh, just pushing down as I'm tightening the door because I want it to pull itself down. That's it. Yeah, wow. There you go, guys. Look at that. It's big. Like I say, I'm going to mount it. Not on the table, but I'll use it on the table just to try it as a close up. And like I say, once it's all plugged in, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll show you the closer up and how it's working and everything. So, it's really heavy, so it's that's not going to go anywhere. Wow! Wow! So uh, obviously in the middle it's going to try to centralise to the centre but as soon as you get out of the centre it's like I can't feel anything apart from just nothing I can't feel any like weight it's like trying to like be stronger there weaker stronger it's the same tension all the way around and you've got your four corners so you can go to the corner if you want to do a uh, angle. Wow. Wish it's going to be like this. In fact, on the warthog, it's, it's in the middle, isn't it? So, you are wow. Play that there. So far, impressions fantastic. Need to put the software on, see what it's like. So, there's some instructions. Just, just like I said with the arrow, that's all that's for. And then we'll take a look at that later, which is some do's and don'ts. Next thing is going to be throttle. Next, I want to keep this quite short because I want to get it plugged in. Play it out. But, so, uh, the ones I'm using at the minute is uh, X56 SciTech, I think it is, yeah. SciTech. I've been using that for about two years. Not wrong with it. But I'm hoping this is a bit of a game changer. Uh, and out of the Sciatech, I like the throttle better than the joystick. So I did toy with just getting this rather than the throttle, but setting it for. Okay. Whoa! The weird. Unbelievable. Oh my god. Ugh. A bit lanky in there. Take that out later. 
Okay, let's get this unraveled. USB is a thicker cable, so if you look at the two cables, it's thicker. Is it? Oh no. Yes, it is. It's a little bit thicker. And I'm hoping that it's a bit longer. My PC is on the far side. see this guys look at that isn't she beautiful wow again it's a copy of the A10 so in the A10 if you look down uh, in the game this will be there all the switches will be the same uh, what just give you a view of that it's heavy this must weigh five kilos or something I don't know but I'll look at the manual but that ain't gonna go anywhere. Well, I'll have to make my brackets a bit heavier than I thought. On the bottom, some nice feet. Uh, and there's some mountain holes. Just here. Wow. Uh, I'm trying to hold it close so you can see. Let's move them lights a little bit. Okay. See, so I don't get any glare. So here we've got split throttles. Yeah, for engines, split engines. Uh, and on the back, you've got a little pin. Slides across, goes in, and then locks in place. So now you've got that tension is super smooth. Wow, you've got a tension friction there, light, decrease, increase. Wow. Okay, let's have a look at some of these buttons. So, single switches, I was a bit worried about. Uh, it's just a single switch, not like on the other one I've got. Yeah, they go back to centre, so it's a momentary switch. This is on or off. Yeah, because it's a like a replica one of the real thing, that's to do with the real thing. So you understand. Uh, oh, these ones are momentary, so you've got on, back to centre, and then ignition. I don't know whether that's for a test. Oh, you've actually got some lights here as well. Fired lights. APU start. Wow. These switches are like solid. They're just solid. And then you've got a... Uh, I don't know what this is for. But there's an indent in the middle. It's super smooth. That's metal. All of these are metal. I think. That's definitely metal. Yeah. Wow. APU on and off. God. And then we've got... I'll just move that. Okay, you've got uh, some switches here for your flaps, down, mid, up, and it looks like it clicks, but I don't know whether that's just fantastic. What else then? Got some markers on here. I think they might be illuminated, I'm not sure, I'll plug it in. Uh, it says silence for light, warning lights, so uh, it's the... Uh, and then we've got some momentary switches. Three way switch, so that one's one, two, three. Yeah, we've got autopilot. And then there's a switch at the side. Three way. Center down. So a bit lighter pressure. I would say it's like a quarter of what these tensions are. Uh, let's have a look then. Uh, but heavy. Let's put that down so you can see. Hopefully, you can see that we've got on the sides. Trying to hold it. Uh, uh, center switch. Forward, back. Nice big. So your so your gloves don't get caught. And then a uh, three-way switch. 
and then the back spring one back to center and then forward hat and the hat is it's got like indents in and it's clickable I think <coughs> front we've got a button nice tension on that I'm not gonna knock that by mistake then another hat switch that's it, is that right? I'll see how that goes. And then another hat switch, a final one. And then you can lock that. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, hey guys. So, uh, pop riveted, pop riveted all the way around. But look, if you need to get inside it, there's screws here. Uh, and there's a Thrustmaster, uh, like a metal sticker. And now, uh, this thing weighs a bloody ton. This must be five kilos. Look at this, that solid steel. Two plates. Okay. So, there they are. What I want to do now is put them, connect them up, and I'll show you them all illuminated. Now, how this video is going to be is. Um, going to it's going to be one video but it's going to be quite long i'm going to try it out uh, and then i'm going to modify these so they sit lower than my chair and i'll show you the setup i've got now i'll just put a video up uh, and then what i'll do is i'll use it for about a month see what i really feel about it uh, uh, and then i'll finalize the video and do some flying and things like that by the way that's metal i think Feels like metal and then plastic around here. Okay guys, we'll be back shortly. So that's the setup I use. Uh, I've obviously I've slid it over to the right uh, and I've clamped it on. I'll t I'm going to do another video of the clamps I've made because I used to have it, when I first bought it, I had made these. I made these ones and I'll do a video. I just used to have, have it on the, on the bench, on the desk and the joystick was like up near my mouse. When your hands are up in the air, you get like fatigue, it's really bad. So this was the only way to do it. Now, you can see that I've got an extension put on. I'll, I'll do talk about that later on. This is just to talk about uh, just the normal setup of this and how it goes. Uh, and I'll talk about that later. I'll do a separate video because it's going to be too long. So that's a basic setup. Dead easy to use. Chair pops out. It actually goes, when I sit on the chair, it goes underneath a little bit. Yeah, so like there's this, it goes under to about there okay guys so we're just gonna have a quick look at the software what comes with the thrustmaster hortas and it comes with we've got a download from the website is these two bits here so one's it uh like a gui which can show you uh uh you've got pedals joystick so you can do some setups for that but i tend to just do that all in in the game uh other thing you might want to look at is this script editor so that's the software that you can only have one open at the same time so if you, you if you want to open that one you have to close this one down so you can have them open together uh, and device if you click on device analyzer you get this up so what this is going to do is just going to show you all your controls working so this one's set up at the mo at the minute for the throttle so you can see the throttle is nice and smooth. This is Hall Effect throttle. So everything should be nice and smooth. There should be any glitching or anything like that. And you can, like I said, it's split throttle. So you can check up all your controls are working, all your switches. So you can switch. I've got a couple of switches done by mistake. This I'll turn all these off. I can't remember what, what I've got turned off. Probably that. There you go. So everything's turned off. So start off on the bottom left and we've got our uh, arm disarm for my hook if you're on a uh, for a carry like F on it F18 uh, then you've got radar altimeter switches are really strong and positive switches which I like about it autopilot there uh, and you can also have your autopilot set to follow a path uh, altitude hold and heading hold or just altitude so you've got three different settings there 
landing gear down, landing gear up and warning light. A zone function which I use in conjunction with uh, track IR. So if I look out the window I can zoom into something at a distance. Also more importantly, well just as important as looking at the controls so when you look down in the cockpit to the left to the right you can zoom in and read some of the uh, some of the information on the dials and gauges and then we've got landing light switches and APU start on and off engine one off and intermittent start off intermittent start or close down and then we've got override for the engine fuel cut off the grip itself we've got weapons radar check and settings and another hat which i use for navigating menus in the uh, multifunction displays side hat with a thumb and a button and again we're just checking everything's working i use that for comms and atc uh air brakes got flaps down the side and a hat switch at the bottom which is a radar sun which one have we got that one set to again that's that one isn't it which one have I set that to I can't think what number 23 is don't know so I've lost that one where that one is oh is it no oh. what APU what's 23 come on I'm missing something here oh flaps <laughs> yes yeah, the flaps so that's another good reason you could you could print this out and then write on like 23 flaps down up flaps medium which is in the doesn't have a button it's just medium so that's uh and then you could have some like radar i'll turn, write it all down just shut it on so that's good so there's that so that's all the buttons work there's 32 of them and then if you click on that you can go to the throttle again we've got 19 buttons on the throttle itself oh, sorry on the red uh, joystick super smooth weapons uh, radar select chaff flare Weapons fire, weapons release, foot brake, wheel brake, uh, bomb select, uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, so that's it guys. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'll show you the other bit of software before I go. So I need to close this down. That's going to be GUI. You can download this off the Trustmaster website if you're in any doubt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay so as you can see on this one uh, I don't really use it but I put it on just for the other bit of software so you can see my joystick there throttle and also my pedals as well uh, I haven't figured really how to use this I don't really need to use it because I just do it in in the game itself uh, set everything up that's the pedals I'm using I'm going to do a video of this separate because I've just bought them and I would say it's made everything so much better with them pedals but that's it for another video uh, so what I'm going to do is shut up some video and we'll get back shortly okay so I've just put up a couple of videos I've done quick just to now I've got no sound on there because for some reason it didn't record the sound I don't know so we're just in a mission here it's like a training mission so we're in the UE and we're just gonna take out a couple of targets so we've we're at about uh, 1300 feet 1400 feet or something there's the targets off in the distance as you can see on the left hand side here that's my control so you've got me uh, cyclic collective uh, and anti talk pedals on that side 
So I bought the UE because uh, I thought it'd be easier to fly than the Apache, and it is a lot easier, a lot less technical, and it gets me into the swing of things just to taking off landing. Uh, this is one of the first I managed to get the guns working and the sights working. Uh, and my flares, I've just been trying that because I just got them working. I'm just doing little bits at a time. You've got to uh, walk before you can run. And I've got some door gunners, I think. I'm almost certain. Yes, I have. If you look in, the, in here, I've got two door gunners on mini guns left and right. I've just given them uh, the order to. F uh, there you go, he's away there now, causing damage with his minigun. Uh, one left, one right, and you can give them orders to do different things. So, basically I'm just flying the plane, and I've got some rockets, and um, two miniguns on the side as well, on the front. So we take, there you go, there's some rockets. Can't really see me target, because I need to zoom in, uh, but we're doing some damage. Destroyed a couple of things, and then I want to switch over to the guns. I think. Oh yeah, cause of mayhem. Nice. Yeah, it's really difficult to fly and shoot. And then what I'm doing is I'm just letting the guys, like the left dog gunner, he's going to be hopefully bringing his mini gun round and taking things out. So you can see the controls. Oh, look at the carnage! Nice. Yeah, for some reason the volume was down. I didn't record any uh, in-game sound, so it's a bit of a shame. Oh, but I'll do plenty more videos once I. Uh, there you go. He's opening up on that uh, convoy there. There's like trucks, some uh, some light armor. You can see he's doing damage there. Just now, oh no, the 50s he's on. I thought they were mini guns. So he's on the uh, 50 caliber. One, so the, it's going to be less. Uh, rate of fire is going to be a lot less, if I could say that. I'm not sure what caliber the mini guns are. Maybe 7.62 or something. I don't know. But they fire a lot more rounds per minute. So we're coming around again. We've reloaded. Now, in real life, you would not reload your rockets. But this is not real life. I'm just a training exercise. Uh, getting used to flying and shooting, so I've reloaded the rockets, I think. And I've zoomed in a little bit. We're altitude just uh, about, what's that, 700 feet or something? Plus, I haven't got, I don't have incoming damage, so I can't really take any damage. This is not about that, this is about just flying and trying to use weapons, which is difficult. Oof, get some altitude, get some altitude. Yeah. And of course you can get the this guy, co-pilot, you can get him to fly and if or you can get him to use the weapon systems at the front. The rockets, uh hydro rockets and the guns. And you can just fly if you wanted to. So you basically just because you were in real life, you'd delegate some uh, workload. Oh yeah, we are taking incoming damage because the canopy was broke. So we've got some rounds. Uh yeah, so there's that. Uh, let me just spin on a little bit. We'll come back down. Ha <laughs> Not very good, but there you go. As you can see, I'm using my pedals a lot, trying to bring the, bring the sights on target with the pedals when you get close, rather than trying to use a stick, because it's like it's like delayed. So look, can we just spin on a little bit? Come on, hit them, hit them. <laughs> I'm shocking. See, they're already damaged, there's no point in shooting at them. There you go. I've got to zoom back out, because it's really difficult to turn on. Yeah. 
Anything else that you want another video? Uh, this is not the Apache, I don't think. It's just my background. Although I've got some videos of that. And that'll conclude this video, I think, guys. So, as you can see, I'm really pleased with the the uh, Hortas in general. I mean, there's probably better ones out there and West ones out there. But I decided to, to get this and I'm happy with it. Now, you can see here my controls, everything's central. I'm using the zoom function on the throttle so I can zoom in and out. And I, I, you can see I've come back into the left on my collective and a bit of left pedal in there. That should give me a nice or a baseline. There you go, we're hovering now. <laughs> I'm getting there. It's like when you you roll forward and you know you're gonna roll back. So just before you roll back you've got to put the power put the forward stick back in so you you take it out and then put it back in a little bit and then out and in again. So you're doing yeah, it's really difficult to hard to explain but when you before you come back you put the opposite you counteract that again. Uh if that makes sense. It's almost like you're on a ball. You stood on a ball on a on a plate, piece of wood, and you're rolling round a ball. That's what it feels like. Uh, so again, we didn't. This one we're just in a, a UE, but this one is the one out of Air America, the movie. If you haven't seen that movie, I'd recommend watching it. Uh, and all again, I'm just trying to hover. Uh, Control me power, control me, uh, me descent, and try to keep a good altitude. I don't know what I'm doing here, to be honest. So you can see I've put, I've already put the settings in for the stick. <laughs> There's a hind taken off. I'll get back to what I'm doing. Come on. There we go. So I, I missed that bit. Uh, but yeah, this is the general exercise I'm doing. I'm just trying to, and if you look, you can't say I've got it up there. There you go, you can see a bit there. <laughs> That's the end of it. <laughs> you get the general idea, guys. Uh, I don't know what else I've got to show you, really. Uh, Possibly, oh, there might be something in here which you can have a look at. Okay, let's have a look. What's that? Okay, so we're in the uh, 864 Apache. And we're hovering. We're at, when he zooms out a bit, you can see my controls are yeah, slightly different. But we're at 5 feet, 4 feet, so we're actually off the ground. And this is this is after I've done the upgrade to the joystick. How much control I've got, so I've jumped ahead a little bit. But uh, look at that! <laughs> it's fantastic. So now I've got like so much more control. I'm not fighting the springs. It looks like it's frozen, doesn't it? But it's not. Now this is a, f a bit of a flow because I could never replicate this again. It's like. I could get similar, but I couldn't get as good as this. I don't know what I've what I've done. Uh, let me just jump on the next bit. These are linked. Uh, I, I I just couldn't replicate it again. So you can see we're at the same height. We have got. We're trying to get this ball into there, so the ball's slipping out. But also my velocity is spot on. There you go. I've got it again there. Rising up to about eight feet. And you can see my controls are slightly offset a little bit. Just to maintain it. But it's a lot easier with the mod. And I'll I'll do another video of that guys. But uh, it, it's great for planes. 
fixed wing with the springs on but without the spring uh, when you take the springs out and uh, I'll show you that later on uh, it's just so much easier to control helicopters and I didn't have the helicopter before I'd done that and then when I was to fly, trying to fly this with the heavy springs on the uh, on the joystick it was just it was just too much because you get a bit of stiction and then when you move the spring pushed it more and it was just so frustrating it was just like that's why I think a lot of people have, have uh, uh, said bad things about it uh, to do with that stiction I mean once you do that mod I mean I'm flying fixed wings and I, I, I wouldn't put this heavy spring back in uh, I just don't see the point of it because there's very light ones and it just gives you that much more control anyway guys I uh, hope you liked that uh, video any uh, any comments you want to leave leave below give us a like uh, sub if you haven't uh, but say leave the comments below uh, and I'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching guys cheers